Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to do a no makeup makeup cat eye look. So who doesn't admire cat eyes, the beautiful almond shape? And um, we all know that makeup can help us recreate that shape, sort of cheat that shape. But sometimes you just don't want to wear the heavy liner, maybe the black liquid liner and the lashes and all the sculpting and shading that really, as much as I love that look, the real full on heavy cat eye, sometimes if you're not in the mood for wearing a lot of makeup, then you still want to achieve that look. So you still want to get that lifted eye and that almondy shape, but with a lot less makeup. So using Ted as our inspiration, if you'll just look at the camera, He's not in the mood. So I'm going to start the tutorial with a little bit of foundation and concealer on in a no makeup makeup style. So I can link to my old video for if you want to see how to do that. So I'm going to start by using a base all over my eyes. This is a tinted primer. You could use a MAC paint pot or you could just use an eyeshadow which is a similar color to your eyelids, your natural eyelids. It's just to even out and take out any redness or any darkness where you don't want it to be. So now I'm gonna add the actual shadow. So I'm going to use a selection of shades and this will depend on your skin tone, but what I'm looking for are shades which replicate natural shadow on your skin. And ideally they should probably be matte or very low level shimmer because you're cheating shape rather than decorating your eyelids, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna start with the mid-toned taupey brown shade, which to me is quite a cool toned brown, which would just mimic this natural shadow that I have anyway on my um, socket line. Now what I want to do with this is, rather than trace my socket line around, which will give a rounder shape eye, especially if I trace it all the way to the end here, which your socket line finishes at the bottom end of your brow bone. So it's right down here on your occipital bone, right in the corner. So you are going to get that rounder shape. And if you do have a deep set eye, so a deep socket line and you do this, then you, you, your eyes are gonna look more deep set. So what we're gonna do is using a small amount of shading, feel where the bone is. So the top, the highest point of the brow bone which you can feel, and this works with hooded eyes as well. So even though, you know, you could have droopy eyelids, you can still find, you can still find that bone, the high point. And then what I'm going to do here, and this is the kind of key to the whole thing, is highlight that bit there where the highest point of the bone is, but not follow it down. I'm going to skim skim the bottom of my brow bone and sweep up. So I'm taking it, tracing where that brow bone is at its highest point and then gliding up from there. So I'm not following the brow, this sort of natural crease down. So I'm just skimming the edge of my brow bone. Then you can start to add a little bit more in this new shape that you've created so softly. But where you've created this sweeping up, you can add a tiny bit more shading there now, just to sort of fill in your shape, that you, your new shape. And if you sweep up when it goes beyond your brow, brow, don't worry, because there's so little on the brush that it'll just give a suggestion of contour rather than a brown smudge. So the key is really very little on the brush. And relax your brows as well, especially if you're hooded. If you apply it like that with your eyebrows up or sort of like this, you don't really see. So just relax those eyebrows down and then you can really see how that shape is starting to come together. And if you need to add any more, and you are looking for a shading effect, not an eyeshadow effect, if that makes sense. So now I'm going to use eye pen. So I'm gonna use a dark brown shade so it still feels sort of natural. At the inner corner, 
come underneath the lash line and just go you can do top and bottom here it just needs to this is going to help to emphasize the lowest point of your eyes so that when we emphasize the outer point we have this shape so a tiny bit there you don't need a lot if you're able to i'm terrible at this do underneath your lash line i can do it on other people but i hate doing it on myself Ooh. till you get to just past the center of the eye so you're just filling in and then you're crying underneath your lash line then looking straight ahead we want to start from about here so it's the final third of the lash line and here we're going to switch to above so we've been going underneath the lash line this is a really soft pencil, which is good because I don't really want a pencil line. Again, I want to create this shadowy effect. So I'm going to trace along. Before I get to the, the end there, I'm just going to sweep up and pull out your eye if you need to here. Just like that. And then you can use a brush. to soften this. So if you use a nice soft pencil, this is um, one which sets, it's a Marc Jacobs one, it's set, so it's nice because it lasts, but you do have to blend it quickly before it sets. Or you can just use something like a coal pencil, which is really smudgy. Coal pencils are great if you just want a kind of nice, messy, smudgy line. It looks very natural. I'm just going to blend that into the center of the eye where it's going to meet the pencil that's underneath. So at no point should there be a, it's more of a suggestion of a shape rather than make up this. Then underneath, I'm going to do three dots. One, two, three. Just at the very outer corner and just very softly push those into the lash lines, into the lash roots, sorry. And then you can use the original shade that we used to create our shadow. You don't wanna blend this too far down, it just needs to be in the roots of the lashes. I might have to touch up my concealer, actually, I did some concealer. And then from there, just sweep up. Really work it in. I know this looks like I'm aggressively working it in, but you do need to kind of really blend, particularly if it's a long wearing pencil like this. If you look ahead and you feel like you've gone below the sort of sweeping up line, so going from underneath up, just take a Q-tip with whatever remover you usually use. Start underneath and just clean up and sweep they give you a nice clean line underneath, which is really important. Otherwise, I'll show you, you can just put some light, slightly lighter concealer underneath, which again will really lift. Just putting on the volume, Ted's doing a talk. Ted's been doing a lot of styling recently, bringing me all manner of um, outfits, accessories to wear. So I wonder what this one is. This could be, sounds Ooh, quite dramatic this one. I'm gonna go and check. Okay, so I've mapped out my basic shape now. So I'm starting to get this feeling of having this, my eyes looking very almond shaped. So we're emphasizing this inner corner and we're starting to get this elongated, cattish shape without looking like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. Next, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. We do want to really focus on these outer lashes, but obviously we can't just curl them unless you've got 
a half set of curlers, which do exist. Um, so I'm just going to curl them all the way across. But I'm going to selectively apply my mascara. So I'm going to do my under eye lashes. Just going to go through them, just not too much mascara underneath. Really going to be focusing on the top. So we, we don't want a very round shape, so I'm not going to put lots and lots of mascara here, which obviously will give a rounder shape to the eye. I'm going to go quite minimal at the inner corner, but obviously I want some there. More in the middle. And definitely more at the outer edge. So that's one way of doing it. Um, with this other eye, I'm going to show you how to do it with um, a couple of fake lashes as well. Fake lashes, not very no makeup makeup, but you know, you can make it work. So on this eye, I applied three of the Nikki Makeup Swede lashes. These are nice because they're light and they go well with this type of no makeup-y cat eye look, but also there's four different lengths. That's quite important. So I've chosen the second to shortest, which are eight millimeters eight millimeters, yeah. So they're very, they're not long at all, which it means that I'm able to just apply them at the outer edge. I don't need to blend them in all the way across because they're not too much longer than my own natural lashes. They're just a little bit longer. Um, and I've just put a tiny bit of mascara over the top so you can see the difference between the two eyes now. This is my own lashes with extra Mascara at the outer edge, and these have got the three individuals, so it still looks natural, but I do definitely get more of a lift when I've got slightly longer lashes at the outer corner. So I'm going to do exactly the same actually on this, just to balance myself up. I'm going to put three just at the outer edge there. So taking three off the card, you have to take them off so carefully because they're so delicate. And I'm not going right down to the outer edge because that will drag down the corner of my eye so I'm going in slightly so my very corner one will be in slightly but it'll be angled out so I'm just able to get that nice lift and it's echoing where the shadow is which is obviously not down here it's more at the high point so while that glue is drying I'm going to go back in and put the rest of my concealer on I've got a tiny bit on when I started, but, and we want to go light, nice and light in that inner corner. And we also want to do touch under here. Really seamlessly blended though. So buffing that out almost completely, but giving the illusion of a lighter sweep right under where our cat eye is. And we can use our fingers just to pull up the eye there. Then I'm gonna do some pinpoint concealing. A la No Makeup Makeup. I'm also gonna use a touch of the lightest concealer just under my, along my brow bone there. And then really blend that in, because I don't want it to look like anything other than real skin. So that's the area that we, we started doing our cat eye just underneath there. And we're just going to clean it up, because obviously we've blended a little bit onto there. By mistake, probably. So just keeping that nice and clean. and taking off any edge where we started our blending there. So that's quite seamless. I'm going to do a little bit of shading on my face. So I'm using, this is a contour powder, like a bronzing powder. Again, not too much shimmer. And this is quite a cool toned, it's more about a shade color rather than adding bronziness or tan to the face. So 
So I'm just starting at the outer edge there. That's where I want most of the shade to be. And then just coming forward, also going to do here. And you remember we had this sweeping up a little bit here. We're just going to emphasize that now with the same color. So where we had our edge of our shading, we're going to just bring that up. And this is all very, very subtle. So I hope it all picks up or hope it doesn't pick up too much because it, in real life it's just very subtle shading. Likewise, the other side. So just bringing up my cat eye shape, starting by my ear. And you can feel where your cheekbone is, the top part of it, a bit like here. We're just skimming those bones, keeping the majority of the concentration of the color right back there. And as it comes forward, there's hardly anything left on the brush, so it's really natural. And this will just emphasize that shape as well because we're bringing everything really up. Everything's sweeping up. We've got the eye shape, the shading around the lashes here. We've got that cattish look going on, although we're using very, 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 very minimal makeup. And even with my um, blush, I'm going to use this beautiful pink shade. This is called Mickey Pink. And this has a little bit of gold shimmer in, which I'm going to use very sparingly. But I'm not going to do it here because it's going to create less of that elongated feline look. I'm just going to put a touch of colour almost there, just on the top of the cheekbones. So bringing colour into the face and life into the face, but keeping everything really about this elongated shape. Right, I'm going to go back to the eyes now. So the lashes have sort of settled in. Now I need to, I feel like it looks dark on here, which in real life it doesn't. It looks a little darker. Maybe it's the exposure of my phone. I have got a new phone, just haven't set it up yet, but that should help going forward. I've updated my phone finally. Um, I did want to update it and film on the new one today, but for some reason I couldn't get it to work so hopefully this is okay but yeah I can see it's looking a little darker on the screen um, so I definitely feel very feline now in, in the shape of my eyes I feel like on this eye which is slightly more almost folded on me I'm going to go back in with my shading color which is the mid-tone color just on the edge of the point and Gonna go in there. I think that's it. Just where I was skimming my bone. I feel like that's worn off. Oh, there we go. That's it. So it's a no makeup makeup look. So I'm gonna do a very natural lip. Start by using a pencil. I'm gonna do a little shading around the outside, just buffing and patting. My usual under the lip, so you've probably seen me do this before, there's my lip and I go under here. But it is a no makeup, makeup look, so I don't want to make it look obvious. I'm gonna blend that in. Now before I do any more penciling, that's my basic shape. I'm gonna use this satin lipstick. Hardly any, kind of natural toned one. And then using a clean eye brush, just gonna blend everything now. Everything's settled in, had time to become almost seamlessly in synergy with my eyelids and my skin. Just gonna go over 
and buff everything. So we can't see where one thing ends and the next thing starts. It's just seamless. Oops. I'm gonna give my lashes a little pinch. If you apply lashes and you feel like they haven't become in synergy with your own, just give them a pinch and it works, a treat. So to finish this tutorial, we can't ignore the fact that there was a TED talk halfway through it, which I know I didn't refer to straight away because I thought, well, it would be nice to summarize with all of the subjects of TED's talks over the last 10 days as the, at the end of this tutorial. So Ted has really upped his game recently. You'll be pleased to know. I think it's because he's got a captive audience here. We're not really going out and he has been receiving a lot of praise. So he has now really, he's always brought accessories, but now he's really bringing those accessories. They are coming thick and fast. I did do a post on my Instagram the other day, so you may have seen it with an ear cuff that Ted has repeatedly been bringing me and talking about over the last week. And he has presented that three times, but, because there's been so many accessories recently, it's made me think that he's possibly a frustrated fashion stylist. And at least now we know. I'm going to show you, and we're gonna summarize this look, my no makeup makeup cut eye look, and hopefully Ted will approve of the styling. So, Ted has recently brought me this Missoni scarf. This is a vintage Missoni scarf. I'm not sure how he wants it styled. He's actually asleep at the moment but we might grab him in a minute just to check. Um, would, I, would, would Ted want that with my hair in? I'm not really sure. He's also brought me this, which is a very beautiful velvet headband. He has brought this belt a couple of times now over the last couple of weeks. So you can't really see the belt area. So I'm just gonna put that across there. I think I will put my hair out. I think Ted would like that. And then um, today, while we were doing the tutorial, he brought us this, which is an Access All Areas MTV Awards laminate. So he obviously wants that on there. Maybe he just, you know, just wants us out and doing things. He's brought me this, which is a gold lame bag. See, he does like his bling. That's what I will say about him. And then he has brought this, this is the earring, three times now. And then the other day, he also brought me these Gucci sunglasses. They were in a little felt bag and he dragged the felt bag downstairs. And um, so this is the look. So that's it, that's the no makeup cat eye look as styled by Ted. And if you are looking for an ingenious, creative stylist, let me know in the comments and I can check if Ted is available. See you soon.